My research takes place in the Azuero Peninsula in Panama. There, most of the tropical dry forest has been cleared and converted to cattle pastures and conditions of non-native tree species. But intense droughts and overgrazing has been hard on the land, making it less productive. Farmers complain that nowadays they can raise three times fewer cows than they could in the past. Improving the land will require returning it to a more natural state by replanting at least some native tree species. How will replanting native tree species help? By enhancing the economy of local communities through plantations of native tree species, by improving climate regulation through higher storage of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, by improving biodiversity, as native trees support more biodiversity than non-native trees, and by improving climate, by, by improving water purification and storage in the ground. How do we determine which species to replant? Obviously, we want to focus on replanting the native tree species that will provide the most benefit. So, my research focuses on assessing and comparing characteristics of native tree species so we can prioritize which to replant. As you can see on the slide, we prioritize the species based on characteristics such as high growth rates, high potential for storing carbon from the atmosphere, high tolerance to droughts, high economic value, promoting high biodiversity, and we also prioritize the species that are the most scarce on the land and need help. <coughs> From our analysis, we were able to determine a set of outstanding tree species that enhance both conservation and economic benefits. We can take what we learned and apply this system of prioritization to other areas of the world where tropical forests need to be restored to make the land more productive. 